Hi guys, this is Celeste. Um, welcome back to our sad little yard. Um, I'm gonna show y'all what our yard looks like now. It's been about a week since we had what we're pretty sure are freezing temperatures. Um, and just show you kind of how things are doing. Um, the peach tree flowers all seem to be fine. Um, this is our Namdok Mai, so it looks even worse now. There's still some green inside the tree Craig thinks that the trees are going to fruit like they would have anyway. And I think there is like not, not a chance that that's going to happen this year. Um, so let me know what y'all think about that. The lychees um, did totally fine. Actually, no, here's a little bit of cold damage even on some of the lychees. So this is the first day I've noticed that and it's about a week after. And it seems like the stuff on the south and um, the south side had it pretty bad. And now our sapodillas are showing pretty bad damage too. And um, this is Hassia. This is the butterscotch. So I'm hoping that these make it because I really would love to taste the fruit from these. Um, the tikal I had just pruned because the branches were breaking due to weight before the cold came. And so it has cold damage as well. This is a Silas wood. It has cold damage on the leaves. And this is Alano. And so everything that's kind of sticking out and not super close to the house got cold damage on it too. It looks like mainly like the lower stuff on this tree had cold damage and that everything on the top looks pretty good. Um, the Jaboda Cabas look totally fine. Um, the dragon fruits are starting to get some yellow on the top of a lot of a lot of the plants. So those they get cold damage too. It just took a week to show up. And our guava, the bottom is good. The air layers have good roots on them, um, but the top did get get cold. The cold did kill off a lot of the weeds, which has been nice. This is a Mexico La Grande avocado. It's flowering and it looks, looks pretty good. It looks about like it did before. Um, this is the Cogs Hall, which looks absolutely terrible. I don't see any normal leaves on it. So I don't, I won't be sad if this one doesn't make it. This is the Wurtz avocado. Um, it was on a pretty heavy dripper and it's the only avocado tree um, that we had get damaged. And then this is the Pickering mango. There are some green leaves, but they still so show damage even inside the tree. My sore raspberry looks fine. This is our lemon zest that had a huge flowering and the tips of it got burned but the inside of the tree still looks like it has some green normal leaves on it and then the bottom branch looks pretty good this is a John Way avocado and within a week it started looking really bad like this it's never fruited for us so it's another one that I would be okay replacing um, this is our raw sapote it looked pretty good a week ago and now it looks absolutely terrible the malabar um what is that oh i can't remember what's malabar chestnut um it has brown leaves now too in the tortoise pen and then dwarf hawaiian looks really bad i don't know if that tree's gonna make it and the m4 also all the leaves are orange now So the biggest surprise is the things that seem to take the longest to show um, any cold damage were the sapodillas, the mames, um, and the raw sapote and canistels. This is the lemon meringue. So everything on the south and east side is pretty brown. There's some green left on the underside of the north side leaves. 
And this is Valencia Pride, looking terrible. The long ends look fine. Um, the Dream, it had some cold, but it looks fine for this time of year. This Rosapote looks really bad. I don't know, will it come back a third time or not? We'll see. Um, the dot has green leaves underneath, but a lot of cold damage on the top. This is a canistel that has been really stunted, but it looks better than any of the other ones. And the Inga tree got hit pretty bad. Um, the harvest moon is a little more protected by the eucalyptus trees in the neighbor's yard, so it's not too bad. The bananas all look terrible, but they'll be fine. And this is the Inga Vera tree. And we've never had any cold damage like this, so it's crazy. I had watered this one really heavy and it has a whole lot of damage on it. And it was flowering at the time when the cold came through. And this is a F2 canistel. Don't know if it will make it. I've always heard, um, Craig told me, and I think Wayne Clifton used to say, if the leaves stay on it, that it will, it means the tree is dying, but the leaves fall off, that that's actually a good sign. I don't know if anybody else has heard that, if that's true or not. Um, this is the one little mango tree that I covered, and it looks just as bad as all the rest. Um, this is P22, a little grafted tree. This is Inga cinnamomia, and it actually looks the best of all the Inga trees back here. And there's not a lot protecting it. It had bananas, but that's it. And then this Inga tree looks terrible. It had never fruited for me. This is CAC, and it looks um, probably the best, one of the best on this side of the yard. And then right beside it is an orange sherbet planted at the same time. And it looks pretty bad. And this is the big run. And the coconut cream now is showing a lot of cold damage too. Um, but still, I think 50% of the leaves still have green color on them. I was driving about three miles away from our house today and saw a 40 foot mango tree. And it had a lot of cold damage on it too, but then I saw one in our neighborhood that looked fine. So it was kind of odd how the cold came through. We actually walked the beach this morning and saw pretty severe cold damage on some of the sea grapes, like all along the coast as well. This is the canistel. So this is one to show late damage. This is a seedling. Um, it had flowered this year and it has some branches that are still green but a lot that are really bad. And then I have a little grafted canistel, which is still looking like it has some green leaves. So we'll see how that one does. And again, the orchid that was flowering out here is still looking fine and new flowers have opened. So that's a phalaenopsis, I think. I kept all my orchids really dry. Like that was something I didn't water before the cold came. Um, I don't think the bananas will end up developing anymore, but the Inga trees back here that did not get watered look really good. And this is the Mangifera odorata, which I don't see any cold damage on at all, but it it's like covered by the two Inga trees I have on either side of it. So it did have some protection. In the chicken pen, things are looking pretty bad. Um, the Inga edulis and Inga vera trees, all the leaves look dead on those. The Inga lorena, um, some of the leaves are bad and then about half of them look okay. The seedling Kaimito in the chicken pen, I think it looks better than the other one. And then the Guanabana, all the leaves on the bottom look totally fine. And then the leaves on the top, to get um, cold damage. So I think if I was gonna plant, um, I have like a chupa chupa tree from Harley and I have another um, 
kava plant. If I end up putting those in the ground, I'm definitely going to do them under one of the oaks where the plants didn't get a lot of damage. This is the ice cream. It was so pretty and full of flowers. So let me know what y'all think, honestly, because I think there's no way that these are going to produce this year the amount they would have otherwise. Like, no way. But Craig is really confident that they will produce the same. So let me know what y'all think. Um, this is Pineapple Pleasure. I don't know if any of these little grafted trees will make it or not. I hope they do, because the ones I planted recently are ones I was really excited about. And then the Ugly Betty, the bottom part of it looks looks okay. The Chaconon, all the leaves look burned. And then the Valkyrie, the whole, I think bottom, probably 80% looks really good. Even though the little banana beside it got totally cold damage. This is a jackfruit and now it is looking really bad. The flowers are starting to fall off. The leaves are really damaged. And then all the bananas in here, these are dwarf namwa and dwarf red. All these that the camera sees now are dwarf namwa. This is the sweet tart that got pruned back really hard and it still has some green leaves. And then the peach cobbler, mango. The back side of it, so the north side of the tree um, is pretty green and then the south and the east and west sides are cold damage. This is the sugar loaf looking very bad. I do have a couple replacement trees in the nursery that I pulled back in case we need to replant stuff. The only one I don't have a replacement for is Sessie Love, so I hope that that tree will make it. Um, this is Fruit Punch, got pretty cold, and the cotton candy now is starting to show more cold damage on it too, and it was really in a protected area. And then the dwarf red bananas, They'll come back, it's just gonna be set back. And these, these te seem to take about um, two years to fruit. So that's disappointing because they were fruiting now and doing pretty good. This is our red morning jackfruit and it is looking absolutely terrible now. It did take about a week for the damage to show up on the jackfruit trees. And this is the um, Southern Blush and it looks bad, but the little um, Super Alfonso underneath looks really good. So I'm hoping it, the graph still took. More of the jackfruits, um, Pina Colada Mango. This has a lot of protection from the oak tree. So it's between jackfruit trees and an oak tree and it's still got a lot of cold damage. It just took longer to show up. And the fruits, it looks like they're going to fall off too. So they're just starting to turn black and I assume this one will too. It'll be interesting to see like if stuff does leaf out well, how far out to the tips it'll leaf out. This is our Glen tree. This is one that hasn't flowered yet. So I'm hoping it'll still flower because a lot of the leaves look really good on it, especially near the bottom. And this is the Mahashanook. This is my two jackfruit. This is like one of the best shaped jackfruits we have, so I hope this one makes it. It's maybe my favorite shaped fruit tree in the yard. And then I don't have the labels for these jackfruits in the back. I think one is Orange Crush and one might be Banana Crunch, but I need to figure out which is which. And then Butter Crunch looks terrible. The lemon, um, Bangkok lemon looks really bad. And then this is one that was mislabeled that came from Excalibur. So if this one doesn't make it, that's fine. And the Sweet Tamarind most of the tree looks okay. The part of the tree on the south and east side and west side look bad, but this is the north side of the tree. So it looks pretty green. 
the grapes are always dormant this time of year and we haven't gotten around to pruning them. And then this is more stuff that had really late frost damage. This is the monkey jack. So it had looked all green about a week ago. It looks bad now. But then I think I have like a Luke's Garcinia and another Garcinia in here. And they they don't look so bad. <laughs> and there's a Mame um, seedling back there too. It's still all green and has the leaves. And then the hog plum, all the leaves are dead on it now. The loquats, of course, look great. They can do well in much colder areas. The noni looks really bad. And then the black sapotes have a lot of cold damage too now, but the leaves are falling off. And so again, I don't know if that means it's a better thing or a worse thing. That the leaves have fallen off but there are no more leaves on the black beauty and then this is a wilson seedless and it has almost no leaves now that's uh, one of our star fruit trees and it's just now starting to show cold damage on it and then the coconut palms up front are starting to get a lot of brown leaves and then i have a coconut palm a dwarf fiji back here that's starting to look pretty bad too this is the Jamaican cherry, which pretty much all the leaves look dead on it. And bay leaf did fine. Um, this is a Japanese raisin tree and it goes dormant. So I think it'll leaf back out fine. Um, pitch apple got hit really hard. I didn't know that those were susceptible to cold. Um, the pineapples look like they're gonna be okay, I think. And of course, the Nepalis, they can handle it colder. Um, the Achiote got hit really bad. I think it'll come back. They're pretty, pretty sturdy little plants. And then this is a little Abu, and it's just now starting to show some damage on the leaves. This is a true strawberry tree. So some I call, some people call Jamaican cherry strawberry tree, but this is the strawberry tree and it's grown more up north usually and it looks like it's getting ready to flower and then this is a viejo mame and it it looks much better than our other mame sorry i can't get the camera to be still so it doesn't look that bad and then the canistels i have in here look pretty good peanut butter fruit tree that's in here looks pretty good um, and then i have a guanabanon tree can maybe see it better. Sorry, this is our junky area. So this is my guanamana tree and the bottom, the leaves are all still on and green. Um, the top does have cold damage. And then right beside it is a Inga edulis that has no more good leaves on it. And our star fruit and another Kaimito. And then this is finger sop. I have a tiny finger sop on the other side of the yard that did get frozen really bad, um, but this one looks okay. And our figs, all the new growth on our figs um, fell off, but that's, that's fine because they'll all leaf back out. And then we'll walk over to the Anona trees. These pineapples I had just planted like two days before I moved them from another area and they do have a lot more cold damage. So any of the pineapples that got planted that week look terrible. This is the tree tomato. It looks bad, the trunk's still green tomato plants look terrible but I did have something exciting my asparagus um, actually self-seeded so I have little tiny seedlings of the asparagus plants and then I need to come in and trim these all down and hopefully the larger plants will send up edible asparagus shoots soon and the sunflower seedlings that I had planted like a week before it got cold they all seem fine and they're like really out in the open 
And those little sticks sticking up are hibiscus plants, like edible hibiscus. And this is a, um, a mulberry that I recently trimmed. I was trying to get some early fruit and it got frozen back. But we did graft a mulberry um, scion and it looks like it's pushing out even though like it got really cold. So this one came from um, Craig, the Florida fruit geek, geek on Instagram. I think he might have a YouTube channel too. But anyway, that's taking. Um, the Tilo still doesn't look like it's coming back. The longevity spinach I think will come back. It just, the top of it burned. And then I have my Anona trees over here. This is a really early, really good avocado and it got, it got cold damage. So I'm hoping it will recover because I was excited to have that one. It's supposed to fruit, I think in March or April. And then the Anonas, I don't know what they'll do. I've never had Anonas get this cold here. So I'm hoping that they will be okay and leaf back out since they tend to be kind of dormant this time of year. But this is that little um, finger sop. So I planted a little one in here and it got hit really bad. And then these are seedling jackfruit trees. And actually there's one grafted one. And so the seedling ones got hit really bad. And the one in the middle is grafted and it's the most green. And then the bananas that were gonna fruit, they were just getting ready to push out fruit. Um, finger lime, this is a giant finger lime and it looks like it did fine. And this is what I'm most sad about. This is the sussy love tree. I wish I had tried to protect it better. I don't know if I should be like cutting off the water to these now or watering them. If y'all know, let me know below like what would work better. I did water these heavy like before it got cold. So I don't know if that made it better or worse. And then the avocado trees I planted up here seem to be doing okay. And this is a tree tomato I have planted underneath the oaks and it's better than the other tree tomato for sure. And then this is Sacha Inchi nut and it looked really good until a couple days ago. So I had really watered this one, which has all the damage, but I didn't water this one, which looks a little better. So who knows? Maybe it would have happened regardless. It's just weird. All the other damage is on the south side. And this is the one plant on the north side. So I don't know. I think it just got really cold, like a whole lot colder than we were expecting or have ever experienced here before. We weren't here in 2010 when they had the really big freeze in Florida. Um, the black pepper plants did great. Even the like new ones I planted and the Grand Duke is it Grand Duke of Tuscany? I don't know. There's like a jasmine tea plant where the flowers are really big. Um, those all did great with the cold. Um, the passion vines, these are all Passiflora edulis. The ones I have on just metal fencing seem to do the worst. The ones with the top bar of wood did not do as bad, but there's still metal on the fencing. So I think if they were like all on wood that maybe it wouldn't be as bad. And then this is another Inga tree. This one is from Ecuador. I don't know the species, but it gets these really huge leaves. So I'm glad that this one made it. And then the trees like in our nursery did pretty good. I only brought in the mangoes and a couple other things. Um, but even the bananas that were potted look better than the bananas in the ground. But again, they're protected a little bit by oak trees. And then the orchids I out here I had brought all in. So I just brought them back out and I might have to take them all back inside again if it gets cold again. But when it gets cold, I just try to keep those dry and keep the bananas dry. And then I had a bunch of bananas on this Namwa and they stayed throughout the cold weekend and I missed harvesting them before the cold and they were like yellow and I ate them after two days of sitting out here in the freeze and they were, I thought they were pretty good. 
Valerie did too, and she's kind of a harsher critic on bananas than I am. Um, the Inga Volpina still looks good, thankfully. That one would be hard to replace. And then the avocado trees up front. This is our perennial peanut, so this is usually all really green and it is brown now. But this is Monroe and it did get some damage. It's just starting to show up now. And then the other avocado trees, they don't look as bad as the worts, but they're, they'll all be okay. This is Brogdon. Um, our coconuts, I don't know. They're green in the middle still, but there's definitely more brown than there was before. So I'm hoping that they will be okay. And then this is our mame now. So it was looking really good last week. I was like super excited and impressed, but now it looks pretty bad. It does have a couple branches that look okay. So hopefully the tree will be okay. Um, we're hoping to put this on irrigation soon too. Oh, and the, um, the big Sajigium, like the wax jambu relative, that looks pretty dead right now. And the melee apple too looks pretty bad. And then all the bananas out here look bad but i'm just gonna leave them i'm gonna leave everything for a, a bit i'm not gonna prune anything and then the cercropia i hope it recovers <laughs> i don't know there's still some green on the stem but we'll see what it does and then this is the passiflora edulis on the metal fence and it has a whole lot more damage than the other one on the wood fence. And this is this Monstera Deliciosa. It's turning brown now. It's no longer black, but there's still lots of green. Um, we'll see if the fruit still ripens. This one's getting pretty close. So these like little pieces will start to fall off and it'll be yellow underneath and then you can start like eating it as it ripens down. So we'll see if those will still ripen or not. This is that transplanted wurtz tree which is looking much better than the other one. And these are the white sapotes and they still look green and good and they still have some little fruits on them. So that is what the yard looks like now. It will be interesting to see how things go. I'll try to do like another update maybe in a month or maybe just when I start to see some new growth or we decide to prune stuff. But hopefully things will make it. Every time there's a huge storm, Craig always jokes that he would wishes like everything would just get destroyed and we could start over and like plan differently because there's a lot we would do different. Um, so. I don't know if that will happen or not. Hopefully not. Hopefully we won't have a big storm. Because <laughs> this is kind of enough damage. I don't want to have to go through another big damage like this. This is the curry leaf tree. It still looks great. Um, and then the bay rum and the allspice. They still look alive, hopefully they are. And the Barbados cherry didn't seem to have any damage. And this is the Mujin tea. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it seemed to hold up really well. I'll just like take a branch of this and put it in hot water and add some more honey and drink that. It's really good. And the flatberry jam fruit. It still looks pretty good. There is some cold damage like on the back side, closest to the fence. This is a concrete block wall four feet up and then plastic fencing above that. So it is a bit protected. And then this is the Olo Sapo, not looking so good. So I would be surprised if this did make it. 
The cinnamon apple is still looking pretty good and I had a fruit fall, so that's on the counter. Hopefully it will ripen well. And then finger limes, they seem to be doing okay. And this other Barbados cherry. And then another metal fence, Passiflora edgeless. Not looking so great. <laughs> the seedling avocado looks good. This is another Inga Vera. Not looking so good. And then I can show y'all that um, big Sagigium tree. So I don't know if anybody else in Sarasota had the extent of damage we had. I don't know. It seems unusual for this area. But this is that tree. It was totally green. I think last time I posted a video, it looked pretty good. And now it looks really bad. I mainly just have that for the flowers because I like the way the flowers look on it when they fall on the ground. So hopefully it will be alive and do well. But anyway, that's our update one week after we had freezing temperatures here. I hope y'all's plants are all doing well. It's exciting to see everybody else's mango flowers online. And I hope everybody gets a lot of fruit this year. And just let me know if y'all think we will get mango fruit this year, not based on the condition of our trees. I'm curious what y'all have to say. And that's it. I appreciate you watching. Bye.